Greetings everyone, Lumberg here. Uh, after a little bit of a break, I am back with a timely update. And today we're really just trying to answer the question. There is this new event that's going on that is the island expiration. And we're going to try to answer what is the best things to exchange for your permits. So if you uh, go into the island expiration, um, you know, there's three different types of ways that you can get the permits. One is through this kettle, the first aid kit, and then the compass. Uh, the kettle is is through food exchange so that is a no-brainer you should absolutely do that the first aid kit is buying gold 150 for one of them so for three permits so you're basically getting a rate of um, 50 gold per permit and and then the compass basically uh, which is a paid item um, so in these packs in the daily packs you can either buy it there and there's different tiers in the levels you can see here if you go into specials at the top and look at the daily specials here, here you'll see the compass and then there's obviously you know incrementally um, more expensive and less incremental value of the pack similar to to the camel design so what we're going to answer is uh, even if you're a free player there's some benefit to watching this video because it i will help you kind of see what's the best exchange rate but mostly this is going to be whether or not buying these packs um and now that there is some new exchange items, so if you look here, it's a tiered approach similar to what they did a couple of um, a couple of times ago, right? So you, the new item that they added is they added uranium, um, they added helicopter. So helicopter is is extremely expensive to get; it's nine hundred. So unless you're spending a lot of money, you're not going to get it. Now to unlock this second tier, you need to have at least two hundred permits or points. It's the same, and you know there is a limit, so you can only buy five of these Titan equipment alloy and you can only buy a maximum of 450 um, uranium so 15 so it's basically seven and a half uranium per ticket so what i'm going to do is basically just going to share some tables um, that does a comparison that hey if i if i use my permits and i use these compasses to buy uh, permits is it a good deal for uranium is it a good deal for the titan equipment alloy and should I should I do it? You know, the, the one thing to remember is that each of these packs are daily packs, so they refresh. So if you are going to do it, you want to probably want to do the math ahead and then decide that, you know, don't buy tier two, tier three, tier four. Wait until the next day to buy, you know, the, the cheaper and the more effective one, which is tier one. But let's let's dive into the table. As usual, this will be in the description and a link for the image. So here, basically, you know, I am I am um, highlighting the fact that there's three types of permits at the top here, um, and you know the the second table is probably most relevant. So let me see if you guys can see it. So here, what I've done is is said, okay, you can get ten compasses in the first pack, level one. You can get fifteen in the in the second, um, and then twenty two and so on. Here you can see right here. So 10, 15, 22, 31, uh, uh, incrementally lo lower. So that equates to how many permits? And then um, each permit, each compass is worth 18. So you just multiply that. And then what we did his, here is said, okay, if we convert that to how many permits per dollar, and then how much uranium per dollar is that? Because that is the metric that I've used for all the other comparisons. So here you can see at the bottom, we've compared it um, to... Obviously, you can't beat the monthly pack, right? That's twelve hundred uranium per dollar, but that's that's limited, and that's that's you know only eight hundred per day. Now, but if you compare it to all these other packs, and I've I've just included like level one of these other ones, the comparative, you know, the special events. Uh, obviously, those are going to be the best. The monthly looks like it's so it's it's comparable to the monthly. So if you are buying uranium, um, special events are are just you know once in a while, so you can't really wait on those. It is equivalent to the monthly first uh, pack, so it's it's a pretty good deal. It's much better than all these daily, weekly, and other purchases. So these are probably not good, but you know, up to the level one and level two, if you're if you're trying to get to that next tier of T11 or T12 troops and want to get the uranium, it may not be a bad deal. So this is the map to kind of show that. However, keep in mind that you know uranium is just a, a matter of timing. So if you can wait and you don't want to spend, that's always better. The second table I wanted to show is uh, is for the equipment, Titan equipment alloy pieces. What, what, well, what if you um, used these road to exploration compasses to exchange it and see how much, how many alloy would you get per dollar spent? And the answer is not much. You get 36. 
compared to there is a new pack. So if you haven't noticed this, now in it now shows up. So the only time that it, it before showed up was on um, there, you know, in the purchase other, there would be a, a alloy pack uh, and then a chip pack. But now it shows up on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the daily pack and the rate is better. You can see it's 17 alloys per um, per dollar uh, versus the one in purchase other. It's slightly better. So it's, uh, you know, 82 for 499, 51 for 299. So the road to expiration is only giving you 12 alloys per dollar and then there's limitations. So let's look at some of those limitations and then talk about how can you get to this next tiered of 200. So coming back to the game, um, you can see here that in order to reach the, the next tier of um, items to unlock, you need to get at least points. So um, it is possible to get 200 uh, uh, permits or points as a free player if you use a bunch of fuel and hunt a bunch of zombies. Because, you know, you have about a, I want to say between a 10 to 25 percent chance of, of getting one of the... Um, uh, one of those kettles uh, that converts to two permits by hunting zombies and then it helps it will help you get some of these items so you know normally some of the exchange items here that, that weren't great before you know I just did elite orders but now I think I might be doing the uranium I'm not I may be thinking of buying the first pack just uh, just because for uranium but really I don't have the, the monthly active so it doesn't make sense for me so I'm not buying it um, if you're and I'm not I'm at already C34 there really is uh, there's a lot of uranium needed for the next tier so it's there's no rush and I'm taking it easy and I'm not going to give in to camel's bait so I recommend you um, you know you spend only when you uh, think it's a good value so if you're really trying to get uranium and trying to get to that tier then maybe it's it's okay but if not don't really uh, don't really fall for it I, I do think that it's possible, and I talked to, to one of our Alliance uh, friends, and he mentioned that he was able to um, not, he was able to unlock the, the next tier of rewards and get the Titan, you know, equipment chip. So for free players, it's really important to get to that 200 hurdle so you can get all the alloy and all the equipment. I think it's only one, so don't get too excited when you unlock this, it's only one. Um, that being said, so, you know, I earlier in, in my table, I mentioned whether it's a, a good idea to actually use um, so if you go into the event, should you do it with gold? The answer is, I think, yes, if it helps you get to 200, right? So that's basically, should you do, do the event item for gold? I think I'm going to reach 200 because I have enough fuel. So I'm not doing the gold one. The gold exchange really isn't that great of a rate because you're, you're paying 50 gold per permit and one permit is only seven and a half uranium. So if you're trying, planning to exchange uranium, you know, you can just do a couple extra plunders. Uh, you know, the extra plunders, let's say, cost an average of 200 gold. Instead of getting 15 uranium here with this um, with this gold pack, you're going to probably get, you know, 60 to 100 uranium, um, depending on where you are. So this is not a good buy if you're going to reach 200. If you're not going to reach 200, you're just short, or you need a few extra permits to do the exchange, then always come back to this and and, and get this. So So... If you think you're going to hit 200 by the end of the, the, the four-day mark, I think it's four-day. In case it's three-day, I'm on, on pace. So you can see here, I did the food exchange that gives you 20, and I hunted a bunch of zombies to get 54 more. So I didn't do the gold exchange. I'm on I'm on good, good uh, path to get to 200, so I, I don't think I'm spending for this event. That's basically what I wanted to share for this, uh, this video. Sorry, I've been away. A few... Uh, just other miscellaneous things, you know, uh, there was a couple of game improvements. I did notice that, you know, every every few um, every few days you get a message that they are optimizing gameplay. I did notice that the messages are able to be deleted uh, more quickly now. So that's that's some improvement in general. You know, uh, I may have already talked about this, but, you know, this this looks like a good improvement. Uh, there's small things here. I still don't see a noticeable difference in lag. And I still see, you know, especially from this last chaos land, there was a huge, um, there was a, a, a huge difference. Um, and even, even, you know, doing dual of dominance, like, you know, the, the monsters with the Titan equipment and the skills and these island skills, it is getting completely out of hand. So I hope Camel reigns it in and really, truly tries to, um, to, to try to keep the balance because the medium spenders are going to, to, 
really not be able to compete with the heavy spenders. And the last thing I just want to demonstrate, this is from Duel of Dominance against uh, 263Z Slayer, monster of a player, and I just wanted to show my utter fail. All he had left was two Titans with an Ultra Shield. This is by far the strongest Titans that I've ever seen in, in the game. So uh, he obliterated my entire army, and I didn't even kill a single Titan. I maybe bought one Titan to 25% health. So this was embarrassing and just absolutely ridiculous that you know i spend a good amount you know, I don't, you know it's, i'm not a free-to-play player i spend you know a, between 100 to 200 a month and um to to basically just get completely slammed just attacking just his titans in duel of dominance and he just ran through so many with just his titans because guess what the titans refresh so it's kind of like zombies in medici right so if, if you've even if the Titans got down to 1%, in the next battle, they're back to 100%. So something needs to be done about this in Duel of Dominance. It is insane. It's it, it's impossible to compete. And then I don't know what kind of skills he has, but it's it's just mad. Uh, mad that he his two Titans obliterated so many people. I think he alone killed 3 million troops. It is... Uh, yeah, so the, so the game's getting very, very imbalanced. I really enjoy the gameplay. I enjoy the analysis and the nerdy stuff. Uh, I, I enjoy sharing information. But, you know, it's, it's, it's getting to the point where Camel needs to keep this in mind. So, you know, talk to your VIP contacts, talk to, write to Camel and just say, you know, bring back the game balance. Okay, that's it, guys. I'm just going to sign off um, and hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Uh, good luck with, uh, with your respective mergers or uh, avoid war coming up. Uh, take care and uh, don't forget to leave any comments or corrections. Thanks.